So by 2017, I had a million dollars. When I hit that level of income I wanted, I was able to step away from prospecting and going after new business and just focus on my past clients and referrals and my business, what has happened? It's plateaued. wants to do a weekly email and sell 100 properties, but nobody wants to talk about the 100,000 calls I had to make. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to talk about that part. They just want to talk about the weekly email and the 100 deals. Oh, it must be nice to be you, Ricky. It must be nice to be you. Guys, most people couldn't walk five minutes doing what I do every day. Dude, I had 19 properties under contract when the storm hit. You know, and now I'm trying to piece these deals back together. I know I'm losing deals. I haven't put anything else under contract. I'm trying to get these deals to the closing table. There's properties that got damaged. There's sellers and buyers and sellers that are fighting. It's like a circus down here right now. You got insurance companies involved and it's, it's a mess. But when you, when you mix everything I do in my real estate business with the fact that I answer every single Instagram DM, I'm coaching thousands of agents, I'm doing Zoom calls with you guys, I'm fixing a drive to a closing, I'm coming back to get on another call like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of people couldn't handle the mental capacity. Everybody has a different size cup. Your cup represents how much you can handle personally. You gotta figure out how big your cup is. Okay, which means how many deals can you handle at one time? That's what each of you need to ask yourself. Do you even know how many deals you can handle at one time? That's what you need to know. Because if you don't know that, then that means that you haven't overwhelmed yourself with business enough to figure out where your breaking point is with how much you can handle. Once you figure out how much you can handle, then you gotta do what you gotta do to stay right there with as much as you can handle long term and then you'll reach your full potential. And it has nothing to do with how much production I'm doing, how much production anybody in your office is doing, how much production anyone's doing. No, none of that matters. All that matters is you. It's you versus you, you know what I mean? You guys are probably all in the building stage where you're trying to build your database. Here, here's what I see in the industry. And I talk to thousands of agents all the time. Agents will come into the business and they'll be very excited, they're hungry, they want to work hard, they want to do this, they're real motivated. And they work, 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 they build their database up to a point where they make, let's say 150,000. They get to the 150,000 and then they say, oh yeah, you know, I'm good. This is just gonna keep going and they stop doing the building the database part of the business, going after new business, making calls, doing the marketing, all that. And they just rest on their past clients because that's keeping them busy it's keeping them busy, but there's not really any more growth. And so what happens? The next year they do 150, 150, 150. I see agents that come in and build their database up to where they're making 250, 300,000. And then they stop building it. They rest on their past clients and referrals. What happens? Their business plateaus. 300, 300, 300, 300. So what I'm saying is, is when you're in the building stage, you have to continue building that database up to the point of the income that you want every year. Once you hit that point of income, then you can rest on your past clients and referrals and maintain that level of income. So that's what I did. So in 2014, I did 100 deals. It was 600,000 in commissions. So as the market continued to go up, price-wise, my price point went up. I, I sold the same amount of properties, but I was making more money each year because the market was going up. And so by 2017, I hit a million dollars. So 2017, when I hit that level of income I wanted, I was able to step away from prospecting and going after new business and just focus on my past clients and referrals and my business, what has happened? It's plateaued, a million, a million, a million, a million. And what does that do? That gives me time that I was prospecting to go build other businesses, spend more time with my family. That's what I want for all of you guys. See, you, you, have, to, you have to see this whole thing, the big picture of it, and you have to see it on a, a three to five to 10 year time frame. And you really have to say, okay, once I get to this particular place, maybe it takes three, five, eight years, then this can happen. It's, it's a chain of events. And what agents don't realize is they don't, they don't understand what the benchmarks are and they don't understand what level they need to hit. See, here's what a lot of people think, especially with cold calling and stuff. They're thinking cold calling, I don't want to cold call for the rest of my life. I'm not going to cold call forever. The thing is, is that once you've made an adequate amount of calls that yielded the adequate amount of re 
relationships with property owners in the area, you don't have to make any more cold calls. You're, you're building it up to a point that you don't have to do it anymore. That's why you're working so hard to get to a point where you don't have to do it anymore. So it's, it's all about the clientele, guys, and building those relationships and getting that database up to a point. But remember what I said, you gotta have a system on the back end that builds that personal brand. And for me, it's just a weekly email. People see me every week. I create the email every week. It's personable, it's heartfelt, it's informative, it's professional, it's consistent, right? So for me, the weekly email literally is my social media for real estate, my real estate business. It's a place where I post original, consistent content. With your content through your social media platforms or your, your emails or even like direct mail and you know, different things that you do, the consistency of it and the originality of it is what's going to, it's gonna show them how much, how consistent, dependable, hardworking you are. You know what I mean?